Hi, you guys. It's Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, Scissors. I do not think I am going to make my one-week deadline. I'm Maybe I'm already past my one-week deadline. I don't remember what day my first video went up as far as these papers, uh, this digi kit that I'm using is concerned. But I am working on the cover today. And so I did this, um, <laughs> I did this on my own because literally I, this has been a 24 hour work in progress. I've been really busy and it's like, I work for a few minutes on something and then I have to go do something else. And then I work for a few minutes and have to go do something else. And so there's just no way I could have done a video, but I decided to show you what I did to get to this point. I have a mailer in here and it's one of the ones that's plasticky and it sounds like this, which is kind of nice and fun. And I covered it with um, a thin quilt batting, is that what it's called? And um, so, it, I mean, it looks really thick and I wasn't sure if the sewing machine, you know, how well it would go through, totally fine. I attached the batting to the envelope with just a little bit of Fabri-Tac and um, I just pushed it down a little bit so that the Fabri-Tac wasn't like seeping through and it held it perfectly. So that is what I did first. Okay, so this is the outside of the journal here. So then I took this and I took the um, fabric that I found, the um, Pioneer Woman fabric that I found, and I put it in strips. And just I just tore my strips, you know, to kind of hang over and everything. And I, there was a lot of playing involved. I would take and bend and fold and see what, you know, it ended up looking like um, and this is just what I came up with so I took it and did this and then even with this I kept on going how much is hanging over and like trying to flip it you know this way and that to see that when I did go to sew it there was plenty hanging off of each side so I did that on both sides but what I did first was um I laid them down like this and then I took my art glitter glue and I ran just a little bit of art glitter glue here and here. And then I came this way and I added a little bit here and here. And I put it down just like that, right? And so that um, it wouldn't move. And then I did the same thing on this side and I made sure that my, I was lining them up the same way so this fabric is the same as this fabric. And same down here. And then this one. And then when I did this, I wanted to see, you know, where my design landed to make sure like, okay, that looks good for the front. So maybe I'll do this one on the inside. So there's a little more red on the back side since the front side has lots of red. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, so then I did the same thing here. I went like this, put some glue, laid it down, pulled it this way, glue. And the reason why I did it like that was so that once I got it, the positioning right where I wanted it, I wasn't picking it up just to have to reposition it, okay? I did not glue this fabric to this at all. It just didn't, it wasn't necessary the way it turned out for me it wasn't necessary. So now these pieces of fabric are glued together very lightly. I didn't use much glue at all. Once I got to this point, oh man, I feel out of breath. Good grief. <laughs> I took some pins and I pinned it like this all the way through. I just did three that way 
I don't know, maybe I did five, I don't remember, but it just enough to keep it in place, right? And just for the sake of um, having this all hold together for right now, I'll go ahead and attach this. And remember, you guys, this is just kind of, eh, I'm throwing it together so you can see what I'm doing is all. Yeah, that's fine. Remember, these are glued together, so it's not all willy-nilly like it is for me right now. So, and as I was doing this, I was taking my signature and adding it to see, you know, that everything was inside and all of that so that I wasn't causing myself any trouble. Okay. So once I had these, everything's glued. Remember, it's not all hanging loose. I took my sewing machine and I zigzagged. I guess I don't need to do it that way. I zigzagged here and here. It went straight through. I did it from the front side. Um, so whichever side you choose to be the front, that is the side that I did my stitching. So here's the front. So here's my stitching. I just did that first. And it looks really good on the inside as well. The, you know, the zigzagging turned out very nicely. So there was no problem there. Okay, so then once that was done, I was able to take out my pins. And then I was like, okay, what do I wanna do next? What do I wanna do next? And I thought, okay, I think I want some pockets on the inside. So I cut a couple of pieces of a really thick um, lace, uh, thick as far as, you know, the width of it. It's a very thin lace. And I laid it here. Okay, so remember, the only thing we have stitched right now is this and this. So then I laid this down and I just held it. Okay, I just held it and I took it and I put it in the sewing machine and made sure everything was all lined up. And I sewed this, I zigzagged it. And as I was going, I just made sure it was all straight, right? So I zigzagged it all the way down. And this, I left, you know, it was flap, flapping open. You know, I wasn't sewing this part over here yet, just this part. So I did one side and then I turned it around and I did the same thing on the other side. And I just held it. I didn't have to do any pinning. And I sewed it down. Okay. Once I got that done, I turned it over again this way. Because this is my front. And I sewed this closed. And then I turned it over here and I sewed this closed. Okay. So now the entire thing is sewn closed. The final thing that I did is I took some eyelet trim and just held it on like this. So that would be this side. Remember, it's all sewn closed now. I held it on like this and I just stitched it down, okay? So that got me to where we are right now. I hope that makes sense. Um, when I sewed this closed, honestly, I might have sewn from this side. I did, you guys. I sewed from this side so that I made sure I got the edges of the pockets. That's what I did. Okay. So the only thing that was sewn from the front was this and this. The rest of it was sewn from this side. Okay. And it turned out you know, fine. It doesn't look like the back side of something then it's not stitched well or, or anything like that. Okay. So that is what it looks like right now. And I mean, I don't know a front or a back. It's, it's all fine as far as I'm concerned. Okay. And so then when you take your 
signature, it fits inside nicely, you know, it's all in. And it sounds nice still, but a uh, closure. So for the closure, where I have a bunch of these strips. So I like to double side my closures. And now if you remember the fabric that I found, they were, is it, they're fat quarters. And so they're only a certain length, right? So what I do is I take them like this And I zigzag here, here, and here. That doesn't necessarily need to be because I'm going to be sewing it closed here in a minute. And I take this one, I do the same thing, and I sew here, here, and here. Then I take the two ends like this, and I just sew like a square. I go a couple of times around it. So now I have a long tie. So here it is, double-sided. And here's the square that I was talking about. Let me see where the, yeah. So it's nice and tight. And for this particular one, I don't know if I've done this before, but I think on this one, I want my um, tie to be attached here. and for it to tie in the front like this. So my bow is going to be part of the decoration of the front of the um, journal. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue it down. I'm using hot glue. Let me look at something here real quick. I'm just looking to see which side I like better. I don't know that it really makes a difference, but I think I'm going to do that side. Now I turn it over and I'm like, hmm, maybe I like that side better. <laughs> so lots of glue just so that it stays. And I want it right in the center of that. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick a signature in there just so it's there. And we're going to tie it. And I've made some clusters to go on top for decorations. And um, if I go ahead and have this closed, then I'll know better, you know, the exact where I want my clusters to go. Okay. All right, so I think that's cute. Now, the clusters that I made, okay, here they are. So I have a little ruffle flower that I made just out of, you know, red polka dot ruffle. And then I sewed that really cute button in the center. I attached it to a little uh, white doily. And then I had this little extra little mm, doily thingy that I got from Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. And then... A button. Isn't that a cool button? It's like a swirl. Anyway, so I just hot glued those things down. And I am going to be putting those here. Let's see. And you know, isn't it weird how like you can see it yourself and then you look at it through the camera and it looks different. Okay, so now this one, I have another one of the doilies. And this came from a placemat that I cut apart. And then a little piece of the um, fabric that was left over from tearing. And this is just an old piece of fabric, fabric that I found in my stash. And I was going to put it there. Let me see what it looks like to you guys. So 
So I'm hoping that it doesn't look like a, just a big clustered up mess to you guys. I'm thinking of, you know, being out on a picnic and things laid out on the, like a blanket or something like that on the ground or whatever. It's just kind of in my mind what I was going for. Okay, so let's, let's glue it. Let's just do it. I'm gonna put glue here. And here. Okay, and then this one up here, I'm going to just start right where it is so I don't have to re-figure out my placement. So yeah, like I said, I'm sorry I didn't bring you guys along for all the sewing and stuff, but you know, for the most part, you guys, you guys can sew. It's not like I'm teaching you anything new, it's just straight zigzag, you know, straight line. I want this flower laying flat. I did my best to try and make it flat as I was making it, but it's not hard. I mean, it's not an easy thing to do when you're working with ruffle, you know, to make it lay sort of flat. I had been trying to use some yo-yos, but I didn't want to make any. And um, I didn't have any color-wise that would go. So I decided to make the flower instead. And then this way I could use some cute buttons. All right. I keep standing up, sitting down, standing up. Alrighty, so what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's fine. I think it's good. It. I mean, hey, I can't do much about it now. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do as far as the side here. I don't, I'm not planning on adding any ruffle, but I don't know. I might. I just, I'm going to see what happens um, once I get everything finished but that's what it looks like without the tie and then so I just I have quite a few things still that I need to make this is why I'm not sure that I'll finish it in my week that I gave myself anyway thanks you guys for watching I hope it's inspired you to go and use an envelope which I had not done before a bubble envelope and um, a soft-sided journal, which I don't think I've done before either. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.